Welcome to EO Talks, Eastern Oregon's very own talk show, only here on EO Alive. Please introduce yourself and tell us which office you're running for. Hi, I'm Darlene Ortega. I'm a judge on the Court of Appeals, the statewide Court of Appeals, and I'm running to for re-election to the seat that I hold there. Can you tell me more about your professional background prior to serving on the Court of Appeals? Yes. Um, I practiced law um, first in Detroit. That's just where I went to law school in Michigan um, and then moved back to Oregon where I grew up to practice. So I practiced law for 14 years before becoming a judge. I, I practiced on the civil side, so I handled all sorts of civil disputes. Um, representing usually on the defense side when people would get sued. So employment cases, um, environmental cases, contract disputes, um, all just all kinds of civil cases. Can you describe more about your work on the Court of Appeals? Yeah. So the Court of Appeals hears cases of every kind that comes through the trial courts. So that would be criminal cases, family law cases, um, juvenile dependency cases, disputes between contracting parties, just all sorts of cases. And also everything that comes through administrative agencies in the state. So we would have land use disputes or we'd have workers' compensation disputes or employment, unemployment benefits, um, just about everything you can imagine in the state agency system comes through us too. Um, and so we're, everybody has a right to appeal to us from the trial courts and through many agency processes as well. Um, and then we decide those cases in panels of three judges. They're usually argued to us by attorneys. Sometimes people come before us without a lawyer and those cases for now um, currently are just heard on the briefs. And then we go behind the scenes and discuss the cases and one of us writes up an opinion. So if you look at what you see um, in movies sometimes or law books, that's what's in them. They're decisions that court of appeals judges write. Um, and then when people are done in our court, there's always somebody who's unhappy because somebody has lost. They, they may petition the Supreme Court to review their case, but the Supreme Court only takes a few cases. So most cases end in our court. So I grew up in Banks, Oregon. Um, so that's a small town for those who don't know, probably about 30 minutes outside of Portland. But if you grow up in a small town like that, you don't feel like you're 30 minutes away. It's more like 30 hours. Um, so I grew up in that small town, went to high school there, um, and then went to college in Newburgh, Oregon at George Fox University. I wanted to be a writer when I was growing up, um, but eventually got moved toward law because of my uh, concern for justice. Um, I'm the oldest of four children. Um, and um, two of my brothers are adopted, um, African American men. Um, and then my mother is Mexican American. Um, and my father is Anglo. So we um, had kind of interesting experiences from that family mixture. Um, I went to law school in Michigan at the University of Michigan Law School and practiced law, as I mentioned, for um, three years in Detroit before moving back to Oregon, which I kind of always wanted to do. I really view Oregon as home. I feel very connected to the state. Um, and then I practiced law in Portland um, before being appointed to the Court of Appeals um, in 2003 by then Governor Kulinkowski. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about your city, what you like about it? Um, well, one of the things that's so nice about Portland is that it's so close to so many other beautiful places. Um, and I really love traveling around the state. I love going to the coast and to Central Oregon and Eastern Oregon. One of my absolute favorite drives is the drive um, kind of through the Columbia Gorge to Boise. I think that's one of the, the best drives ever. So I like that about Portland. I um, like to walk everywhere and I love how beautiful it is in this state um, and that um, there's so many beautiful places to walk. I'm a movie buff, so I actually write movie and theater reviews um, for a local paper in Portland, so I love doing that. Um, I also have a daughter and two grandkids who live in Milwaukee, which is a little bit of an offshoot of Portland, um, and so I like to spend a lot of time with them here as well. Can you tell me who your favorite Oregon historical figure is? 
Well, I have a couple. Um, I would say Betty Roberts, who was the first woman who served on the Oregon Court of Appeals and then the Oregon Supreme Court, um, and just was a very fearless person who came into law in the 60s when there weren't very many women and was often told she couldn't do things that she just went ahead and did. So she's someone I admire. And also um, Chief Joseph, um, as an example, I think of many indigenous leaders who lived through such difficult times and found ways to um, carry forward indigenous wisdom that I think we really need. Um, and I'm very interested in the wisdom of those who lived in this uh, land for hundreds of years um, before others arrived and who have so much to teach us. Now, can you tell me about the primary sources of your personal values? Yes, um, you know, I have a personal faith. Um, I am a Christian and I um, am also a Quaker. Um, and so that guides my values, but also just concern for those who are struggling. I have had lots of struggles in my own life. Um, and I think suffering is a good teacher if you want to learn the lessons and my own struggles have taught me to listen differently to other people who are struggling. Often when people are struggling, it goes kind of unnoticed and unheard. And I want to be the kind of person who's listening and asking good questions of those folks. And that desire really works for being a judge. Judges are professional question askers um, and uh, good practice at listening with curiosity to people's stories is really important to doing that work well. So I think using my own experiences of struggle to listen well to folks who are struggling has served me really well. Now it's time for our world famous lightning round. So first off, ducks <laughs> or beavers? Ducks, although I would say that's mostly because I just, I teach at the University of Oregon and I have more contact with that school. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, what is your favorite landmark in Oregon? My favorite landmark in Oregon would be the Columbia Gorge, which I just love to be, be in as much as I can be. It is pretty beautiful. Now, <laughs> uh, what is your favorite Oregon-based food or beverage? Well, I like all the microbrewed beers here. I love microbrewed beers, and I love to try all different ones. I particularly like a good stout, like the Terminator Stout is a favorite of mine. <laughs> nice. Now, last up, what is your favorite place in Eastern Oregon? I love the Wallowa Mountains. That, that is just an unparalleled place to visit, and I wish I had more opportunities to be out there. Can you uh, tell our viewers more about uh, how they can get uh, learn more about you and get in touch with you? Thank you. Um, my campaign has a website. Um, it's judgedarleneortega.com. Um, Darlene is spelled a little differently, so you got to make sure you spell it with the double E. Um, so I'm easy to find on the internet that way, and that will direct you other places. We do, we are on social media as well, but if you start on that website, that's a good way, way to get started. <laughs>